Hello, I'm going to speak to you about the Zebra Danios. Um, Danio Riara is uh, the Latin name for Danios. Uh, Danios um, are a big group of fish. They come from a sort of Asia sort of area, and um, they are uh, sort of in between, um, sort of a, uh, a minnow uh, to one extent, and a um, a sort of platy, which is another big fish. Um, zebra danios, or, or any form of danios, if you've got rosy danios, there's a lot of variety of danios out there. Um, you can even get giant danios, but what I'm going to be talking to you about is particularly the zebra and rosy danios, which are, uh, they really do like fast flowing water. And they, that obviously reflects where they originate from. And in the wild, they sort of live in the sort of uh, fast flowing sort of streams, and they like the top area of the water stream. And um, yeah, so they like sort of fast flowing sort of uh, oxygenated sort of areas. And um, in my tank, I've got a quite a powerful filter pump, and it creates a lot of current. And what often I see is that the danios sort of go up and right the way around um, the top half of it and uh, you can see when the water is being pumped in you've got the bubbles and they go straight through and it's really interesting to watch it's like children really and um, it's really good and um, I feed them sort of tropical flake food for a uh, fish um, tropical flake food sort of enhances colour and it also gives them the proper nutrients that they need to survive. Um, yeah, so Danios are, are quite inexpensive. You're probably talking about uh, £1.50 to say one ninety uh, uh, per fish. And that's quite cheap. Um, in terms of breeding uh, the Danios, um, they are sort of quite an easy fish to breed. Um, quite often, uh, aquarianists or hobbyists use sort of danios and their willingness to breed, and they use danio offspring uh, to feed bigger fish, which um, I don't really agree with. But I'm just trying to uh, push the point home that they're easy to breed if that's what you wanted to go into. So anyway, yes, they are a great fish, they're very energetic and um, they are very good if you want to uh, have two types of fish in say a small sort of compact tank. Um, the two types of fish I'd go for would be a, a, a danio, which are sort of really really darting around and probably a mountain minnow as well. Um, you could really mix two or quite a few different colours there. You've got your black and whites and your zebra danios, you've got your rosy danios, I think you've got your golden minnows, you've got your albino minnows and you've got your normal generic white clouded minnows which have got like a blue coloration to them. And they all sort of uh, get on, they're very friendly and I think those having those two uh, together in the tank um, can really do quite a nice show and they really do complement each other. So I hope you enjoyed this video and please comment, rate and subscribe and I look forward to um, uh, doing some more videos about um, fish and, um, and my life so I hope you enjoy it. Thank you, please rate, subscribe and comment. Bye bye.